Anyway, in this video we're checking out the V-Fly Beacon. This is another one of these lost model alarms, but this is totally standalone and it has uh, some extra features as well as an accelerometer in here to detect crashes. So this is designed to be used uh, standalone on like a DJI drone or something like that that doesn't have a flight controller to connect it to, like the other previous V-Fly lost model alarms. It has a 1S battery here, of course, to power the buzzer and charges via micro USB and it has a bright LED that flashes at night when it's dark. I'll show you how that works and it has one button operation. You want to stick this to your drone with the included sticky pad and zip tie and they, you can secure it to like an arm or somewhere on the body. Uh, should be pretty easy to establish and then uh, there's a few modes that you want to be aware of here and actually I'm going to talk about them first because this uh, if I dem while I'm demonstrating this, it will be very loud. So, okay. So to basically turn it on or activate it, you want to hold the button down for two to five seconds, and I will turn it on. You'll hear two quiet beeps, and then an LED will flash. And to turn it off, you also do the same thing, and then you hear three quiet beeps. So when it's on, and if your drone crashes, it'll go into this alarm status, and the accelerometer will detect that crash, and then it will beep. Uh, sort of a quiet beep every three seconds and if another movement is detected in 30 seconds the pre-alarm status will be released. So basically it will just go back into the, st the same mode as before but if no movement is detected in 30 seconds which basically it's crashed and you have to go and retrieve it so it'll be obviously more than 30 seconds it will enter this alarm status. In that case it will beep two loud beeps continuously every 6 to 12 seconds and an LED will flash uh, when it's dark and I'll show you that as well. And then there's this new function called stealing alert. So if, for example, you crash your drone, it detected that it crashed, it will go into the alarm mode. If it, if you move it, which of course if you pick it up, it'll move, then it will do this continuous uh, beep. Uh, basically, it's a very annoying beep, and it's kind of basically designed to scare whoever's stealing your drone. Uh, and the only way, only way to turn off, obviously, is to hold the button for two to five seconds, turn off the buzzer and release the warning status. So I'll show you how that works. Also there's a, an adjustment to change the sensitivity setting of the accelerometer. Uh, I found that the, the, the basic setting seems to work fine. I think that if you're on a certain, certain drones that are doing a lot of um, quick maneuvers or a lot of high g-forces, it may trigger the alarm without a crash, so you may want to adjust it with the instructions here on how to adjust the settings, but I found that the standard settings seem to be fine. Also when the battery is low, the buzzer will beep two low sounds every one second, so it'll basically tell you, it'll tell you that you need to plug in the micro USB cable and charge up the um, battery, and then the LED light will be off when it's fully charged. Another thing to be aware of is that the alarm status will be activated in three cases. Quad is crashed, that's the first case, the most obvious case. The quad is static or st staying still for more than five minutes and the flight time is over 40 minutes. I'm just, I guess they're assuming that if your flight's over 40 minutes, if the buzzer has been on for more than 40 minutes, it will go ahead and go into alarm status, which means that it, it assumes that it's been crashed. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll hold the button down between two and five seconds. Okay, so you got the flashing light and the two beeps. So now we're in that pre-alarm status. And it will do these two sort of quiet beeps like that pretty much the whole time, even when you're flying around. And then let's, let's, know, let's sort of uh, demonstrate a crash. So basically, you slam it down like this, that will indicate it's crashed, and it'll go into basically um, basically a pre-alarm status where uh, it basically detects that it's been crashed. And if you don't touch this within 30 seconds, it will go into the alarm mode. So we'll uh, wait in here, and, and you'll get a very loud set of beeps once it goes into that mode so you can find this thing after it's crashed. Okay, and then go ahead and just simulate some darkness here. You see the LED goes off. And this buzzer is very loud, it's about 105 decibels. You should be able to hear it from pretty far away. Okay, so if we pick it up, detects movement. This is the stealing alarm. So if we put it back down again, the stealing alarm stops. 
So in order to turn off, turn off the buzzer, you have to hold the button down for about five seconds, and it should give you three beeps at the very end, indicating that it's actually off. There we go. So you get three quiet beeps, and that'll indicate that it's actually turned off. Okay, so I'm here at the park and I'm going to do a quick little field test for the buzzer. I'm going to turn it on, activate the alarm, and then I'm going to toss it over here out into the grass and see if I can find it just by the noise, by the buzzer sound. So I guess um, if it's not loud enough, I won't be able to find it, so we'll, I guess we'll see what happens. Alright, so I'll go ahead and turn it on. And we'll activate the crash. So there's a lot of ambient noise here with uh, cars on the street over here, so... Okay, so there's the alarm. Pretty loud, actually. And there's the uh, stealing mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss it. Alright, so it's probably, I didn't toss it that far, it's like 20 feet away, probably need to put it on a ball or something with more mass. I can still hear it from here. I can hear it, but I'm not sure if it's coming out on the camera or not, if the microphone's picking up. probably hear all the wind noise. And the thing's tiny, I can hear it's right over here. Okay, here it is. There you go, so I just turned it off. So that wasn't that far. I couldn't really, this isn't, it has no mass, so it was really hard to, can't go that, you throw it, it was not going to go very far at all, but 20, 30 feet away you can hear it, and I was able to pick it up even though it's kind of tiny and hidden in the grass.